Hey, what's up? Bertrand the Tech Man coming back at you with another video. Now, I've been off for a minute. I had some medical issues that I had to deal with, but I'm back in the saddle and I'm ready to get busy. So, many of my friends have asked me, hey, how do you set up your Samsung Notes app? So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I set up my Samsung Notes app and tell you why. Let's check it out. So we're going to be using my Galaxy Z Fold 3, but this should work on any Samsung device that's capable of using Samsung Notes. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have updated software. So we'll go to Samsung Notes and we'll go to settings and then we'll go down to where it says about Samsung Notes and we'll tap it. Now it's going to tell us that we have what version we have. So here it says the latest version is already installed. So we're good to go. After you have downloaded and installed your latest version, then the next thing we want to look at is we want to make sure that we can access our notes on other devices. For example, if we have a, a, a computer or if we have another phone like I do. So we're gonna go back, make sure that it's synced to your email and then sync to Microsoft. Make sure that it's clicked here on the side that those tabs are activated. All right, so the next thing we want to look at is we want to make sure that the auto save notes is on. That means that it will save all of your notes and if you want some advanced features, like if you want to be able to show the links in your notes, make sure that that's on. Show web preview. This is going to give you the ability to preview websites that's added from others, apps. Now clipping, this is important, especially if you download a lot of stuff from the internet, web pages or pictures or some from a chat room. If you want to be able to create notes while using your gallery, or messages, then you wanna make sure you got that clipping uh, set up as well. And then the, the, the last one is action icons. Now, if you want to be able to make a phone call after you've written a number down in your notes or go to a website after you've written it down in your notes or anything like that, such as emails or, or equations or anything like that, then you want this action icon selected as well. So we'll select that. Now, so the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our style of notes. And the way to do that, you tap on, you go to general, you tap on style, new. Okay, so now you got two different types that you can use. You got individual and you got infinite scrolling. Now, you can't use infinite scrolling if you're going to use a PDF file. But if you're not, then you can use it. So I'm going to leave mine on individual scrolling. Now, you have different settings that you could do page settings. You have your normal, which is going to give you a wider page, or you have long which will give you a narrow page but it'll be longer as far as your scroll direction you got three different directions you can go vertical you can go horizontal or you can go horizontal with a two-page format so i'm going to leave my normal and i'm going to make it scroll vertical okay so the next thing we want to focus on to customize it is our template now you got all different types of templates you can use you can use the defaulted ones here. You can scroll down and use images, or you can use PDFs. And you can download various PDF files, or you can even go and check whatever you have on your device or whatever you have uh, connected to a cloud service like OneDrive or Google Drive. You could download stuff from that and save it as a page uh, template as well. Okay, so for this one, we're going to go with images, and we I like a wide page, so we'll save that. Now that's going to be our page. 
Now the next thing we want to focus on is we want to set up our toolbar. Now you got two bars that can be set up for both your text and for writing. So we're going to go to toolbar setup, toolbar add-on. Now, if you want to be able to automatically convert your writing to text or type text, you would activate this one. If you want to straighten your handwriting, a lot of time my writing is crooked, so I need to straighten it. So if you want to be able to do that, then you want to activate that one. Change styles, I don't necessarily need that because once it's written, as far as I'm concerned, it's written. Now, if you want to be able to quickly convert uh, to text, your handwriting notes into a text, then you want to make sure that that's clicked. Auto fix shapes, you want to make sure that you click that, so especially if you do a lot of, uh, uh, of diagrams or flow charts or anything like that. And they've added a new feature here where you can actually fill in your shapes with different colors. Now, if you want to be able to write your pad, uh, you, you want to be able to write on your screen and be more precise as to the alignment of your text, then you want to make sure you select easy writing pad and that should be selected. And then finally, the zoom lock. Once you get all this information on a, 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 a page, sometimes it moves around and it's, it's kind of distracting, but you can lock it and then you can still write as you're locking it and it won't be as distracting. So you want to make sure that you uh, select that. Now, so the next thing we want to set up is we want to set up some folders. So you go to folders, you hit manage folders. Now with manage folders, you can create as many folders as you like. I generally create a folder for business and then you can color your folder and then you hit add and now your folder is added. And then when you get ready to put your files, you can put your files into that folder. Now you can set it up for receipts. You can set it up for uh, uh, bills. You can set it up for budgets. Whatever you want to, you create your folder and then you save your notes to that particular folder. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our customized uh, pen and marker. In order to do that, you open up a page and then you tap on your selection. Now here you can select whatever pen type that you want, pen, pencil, whatever. I'm going to use a pencil and then you can change the, the thickness of it and you can change the opacity and you can uh, transparency and you can also change the color. So we're gonna make that color. And to save it as a favorite, you hit the star, and now this is saved as a pen. Next, we want to do the marker. Now with the marker, you tap on it, and then again, you can change the uh, width, you can change the opacity or transparency, and then you can change the color. Now often I use yellow, so I'll leave that like that. And then you tap that to add it to favorites. Now it's saved. And to check and make sure that it's in your favorites, you tap your favorites edit button there. And you see that they are in there. The final thing that I want to do, and probably the most important, is you want to make sure that you set up a widget that's going to allow you to be able to get to your notes as quick as possible. So let's do that. So you tap the, your screen and you go to widgets and then you scroll down until you see Samsung notes. You tap that. Now you got three different types of widgets here. You got one that's a note shortcut. It's a one by one in size. You got one that's a four by one in size. And this one is a note creator. That's the one that I use. And then you have your uh, single note. So I'm going to select the note creator, drop it. Now with the note creator, the reason why I like this one so much more than the other one is because you got everything that you need as far as your notes are concerned. If you tap on the icon there, you see it's going to show you all of the notes that you have from Samsung Notes. If you tap the text or the T, it's going to give you the ability to create a note using text by typing it in. Now, if you choose the uh, scribble 
this is going to allow you to write your text in. If you want to be able to paint or draw, then you have different brushes, different colors. And with this one, of course, you can draw if you want to. And then pictures. Tap on this icon. And what that's going to do, that's going to give you the ability to add any file from whatever you have located inside of this dialog box. For example, if I want to take a picture, I can take that and I'll put it in there. Take it, hit select, hit done. Now you can take it and you can resize it. You can move it in the way you want to and you can save it into your documents. Now you can do this with anything that's in that particular, uh, or anything that's in that folder. And then finally you have your voice messages or memos. Tap on that and now you can put a voice memo into a note. Hello, how you doing? Stop it. Okay, so it's saying recording is saved. Come back here, play it. And now you can put a voice memo. Samsung Notes is an excellent note-taking program. It can You can use it very productively, especially if you have it set up for your own personal needs. Now, if you found value in this uh, video, showing you some basic ways to set up your system, please give me a like, subscribe, ring that bell, share, and comment. Now, this is the first part of a series that I am going to do on Samsung Notes. So if you have any ideas, please put some in the comment section. Let me know what you want me to produce a video on. And please come back and watch my next video. I'm going to show you some more features about Samsung Notes. Or you can also look at a video either in the description below or up here somewhere that shows you exactly how to use Samsung Notes from my first video. I'm Bertrand the Tech Man. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.